Now that we have discussed about median and the graphs connecting the less than and greater than cumulative frequency graphs, definitely median also is associated with their respective graphs. So how do we calculate the median from the less than and greater than cumulative graphs or the less than and greater than ogive curves is the biggest question out here. It is identified that from graph median is the intersection of is the intersection of less than and greater than ogive curves that is the point of intersection of less than and greater than ogive curves gives us the median which is the y coordinate that is we get the median on its x axis that is median is x coordinate as we identify through the ogive curves so let's see how we can identify the median using this basic definition for the previous two example problem the less than and greater than ogive curves for the marks obtained and for the number of students in the class let's see how we can calculate the median graphically by intersecting the less than and greater than ogive curves and finding the point of intersection and thus the x coordinate which decides the median of the given data. So to start with the example problem continued. So for the previous example problem let's see how the point of intersection is obtained from the two graphs which are merged together. Say for example I take the y-axis and x-axis in which I would like to plot the two ogive curves. So the two ogive curves which were obtained, one of them being the less than ogive curve and one of them being the greater than ogive curve clearly gives me the point of intersection somewhere here. This point of intersection decides the median. P decides the median because at this point the x-coordinate which I calculate the distance from here to here decides the median. So that correspondingly has a y coordinate for which I identify that the median is 66.4. So median in this case of ogive curve is calculated to be 66.4 for the cumulative frequency connected with limits with cumulative frequency. So both lower and low upper limits gives me the value taken under 60 and 70 approximately giving me 66.5. So this is how we sketch the graphs of less than cumulative frequency curve or less than ogive curve and greater than ogive curve and we find the point of intersection graphically and that point x coordinate will decide the median of the given data is how we understand median connected with the graphs and their cumulative frequencies respectively. Now let's get back to the three measures of central tendencies taken together that is the mean, median and mode. Mean, median and mode. Now as we have discussed individually with each of mean, median and mode, now there are some limitations which you need to identify because mean is average, that is average of all the observations, that is mean takes into account all the data, takes into account all the data, but median does not take into account all the data, it takes into account only the middle value is what we have taken as the definition the middlemost value now mode takes into account the most occurring observation 
Now with this we understand that mean takes into account all the data. So this is the most suitable measure of central tendency because it takes importance of each of the data. But median doesn't take the extreme values or doesn't consider the extreme values. It takes only the middle values. Therefore, median doesn't get affected with the extreme values is how median has its less importance in choosing the measures of central tendency. We give the second option for this because it doesn't take into account the entire data. Similarly with the mode, takes mode takes into account only the most recurring observation, but the rest of the observations are left over. Therefore, mode also is not a better measure of central tendency. The most powerful measure of central tendency or of mean, median and mode is mean or arithmetic mean or average is what we call the mean. Next, if definitely if I have say mean of 10 data and I include 3 or 4 more additional data, definitely the mean increases or changes because of the more data included or if I remove some of the data then definitely the average changes therefore mean or median or mode is affected by inclusion or occlusion of data because median also changes with the middle value as the number of data increases or changes with its middle value as the number of data is reduced similarly mode also gets affected through the more data added or reduced affects the data through the mode. So finally, we come with the learning outcome that the inclusion or exclusion of data data all three measures of central tendency get affected with their values is the most important learning outcome. So whether the data is included or excluded from each of the measures of central tendency, their values are definitely affected, whether it's mean or median or both. The value affects with inclusion or exclusion of data. And the most powerful measure of central tendency out of the three is definitely mean because it takes into account all the data. That's how we understand the statistics connected with measures of central tendency and its own limitations.